Alrighty. Hello and welcome to the channel. And for today's video, we're back for day three in Parquet Fernando. I'm a little worried because every time I come here, I get attacked by frickin' uh, water buffalo. Hopefully today, that's not the case. Now, the plan for the final day here is to get going on the trail the right way. And to travel up and get this lookout and this outpost. And then afterwards, I actually want to fast travel over here and check the shoreline out. Uh, reason being is the very first day that uh, I ever played this reserve, uh, I had Bear with Truck and Bear Gaming with me. We immediately spawned in and saw like three Puma and a couple Red Deer. And so far that's been the one spot where I've seen the biggest Red Deer. Now while we're doing that, we're also hopefully enjoying what will I guess we'll find out, but it should be a better looking uh, video. The recording computer has been rebuilt and updated, and I'm crossing my fingers that it all pays off. This will be the first time I've run a recording longer than about 30 minutes for testing, so that's kind of the main point of this video, is just to see how everything looks on the user end when it gets to an actual YouTube video. While we're uh, meandering through the woods, the other thing I want to talk about is the fact that if you're watching this video on the day it's released, that means this is the day before the new scoring system releases. And I kind of wanted to weigh in here. I've seen a lot of YouTubers have been talking about the new scoring system and what it means for the difficulty of the game, and uh, I thought I'd put my two cents out there. First things first, the game is as difficult as you make it. It is not a matter of the developers adding or subtracting something that can make the game too easy. The whole concept of hunting, especially in this video game, is, about, is a matter of effort versus punishment versus reward. Meaning, you're, whether you're getting rewarded or punished, or punished added to your punishment added to your reward, is dependent on the amount of effort you put in. So, the new scoring system, one of the main things is it removes quick kill. Two shots with an acceptable weapon, animal goes down, done deal. Max score. Great. Does that mean that it's going to be too easy? It only makes the game easier if you're playing out-of-the-box settings. You're going to go through the same setup of, you know, shoot the animal, get to where you shot it, follow the glowing tracks, and now instead of being punished for a misplaced shot, you're being rewarded by getting your full scale or full score animal. That's a very smart move on their part, as far as the developers are concerned. Because in the end, you have to keep in mind, this is a business they're running. And by being able to make the entry level of the game easier, you're gonna have more players who jump in with no experience playing a hunting game, no experience hunting, and they're gonna be able to get a greater sense of satisfaction or accomplishment out of that first kill because they will not be punished for not knowing where to shoot. And what that means is that that was a red deer. I just barely heard it off in the distance, somewhere over there. And uh, I actually want some red deer, so we will keep our eyes peeled for that. Uh, losing my train of thought. Right. So by doing that, you're going to get more new players to the game. Basically, more players spending money. More money means more money for them to develop the game. Potentially even develop a new version of the game, suggesting maybe something like The Hunter Reborn, and they do it with a updated version of Apex, or another game engine that utilizes more of the modern-day hardware we have to produce a more photorealistic experience. Now, what does that mean for the people who play in that mid-range, where they leave all the assists on, they're playing out of the box, but they're constantly going for diamond hunts? Yeah, makes it easier for them, too. Does that mean you can't have a more challenging experience? No. The way I play the game, I play with outlines, uh, spotting outlines off, downed animal highlights off, track effects off, and vocalization cones off, as evident by that little red deer call there. When I want to know where a call comes from, I have to use those things on the side of my head to try and figure that one out. And in a case like this, that's a woodpecker. Uh, in a case like this, where I didn't get spun around in time, I actually not 100% sure where that call came from. 
Yeah, this way. So, is that a woodpecker? Or am I hearing something walking in the trees down here? See, and I have I have to use my ears. Without track effects, I'm not seeing a bright, bright glowing area of, oh, animals have clearly come through here. Without down animal highlights, I actually have to find the freaking thing once I shoot it. Without spotting outline, I can't take any of those cheeky shots where I don't actually have a clear view of the animal, and I'm just crossing my fingers, you know, that if I spot the outline, aim where I would want to aim, and then even though I can't actually see that part of the animal, hopefully the shot stays true. So there's that challenge. Now, I already brought up once that it's all a combination of punishment and reward versus effort, which actually sounds a heck of a lot better than when I said it the first time and jumbled the words out of my mouth. But, uh, wait. Something... I thought I saw something move right over here. Uh, might have been that bush. I might have just seen the light hit that bush just right. One of the things that I could easily bring up is that here's way my hunting goes when I play the game like this. My effort is finding the animals. That's an effort right there. If I don't utilize the whole need zone hunting thing of find a group eating or drinking, check the time, shoot, wait five minutes, they'll all come back, shoot again. The other thing is... I See, now I'm getting a little paranoid because I know there's red deer down there. Nope, that's a stick. The other thing is, once I've shot the animal, it is very important for me to get that shot on and to get them to roll before I lose sight. Otherwise, I have to track them. And with all the assists off, tracking an animal you wounded out of a group of other animals actually is quite challenging. You have a lot of tracks. Pretty much blood is the only true sig signifier, or if it's a unique animal, uh, is then their tracks would also be a good signifier of which animal you actually shot. A lot of the times when I shoot, I have to pretty much just follow the group and cross my fingers that I trip over a dead body. Uh, there have actually been quite a few times where I've wandered around because the tracks just stop, and it's because it died in a bush right next to me, and I just couldn't see it. So... That brings the challenge back. There's my punishment. If I don't put my shot correctly, I don't get a quick kill on that animal. I have to try and find it. And depending on where it is, you know, if it's on uh, a rocky terrain where the tracks may not be visible, or uh, it's so far away that by the time I get there, I've kind of lost uh, the idea of where it was when I shot it. I'm kind of having to guess off hunting pressure. Uh, there's a possibility I'd never find it. So, yeah, I don't have quick kill, but there's still the challenge. In all realities, whenever you're trying to make a, a simulation-style game, the argument for making it too easy or too difficult or having the appropriate gradient of difficulty levels will always be argued. I could sit there and say, yeah, they took away quick kill. Now they could sit there and add a different form of integrity. Not just accounting for using the correct round on an animal, but making sure shot placement is important. Because when you're trying to sit there and get something to your freezer, you don't want to be gut shooting it. You don't want to be destroying the backstrap. You know, there's certain shots you don't want to take if you can avoid it. Putting more than one round in an animal is one of those things. If both rounds don't go into the correct spot, you're ruining meat. You're ruining the point of harvesting that animal, not just the actual activity of it or the trophy that you would get as a result but the byproduct in all realities what would have started as the primary cause of meat eating surviving and they could add that in but now you bring back in that question of people who have never hunted before never played a hunting game they come in and they go what are you talking? What, they probably don't even know where the backstrap is. Honestly, I didn't know until probably about two months ago. I'm not a hunter. <laughs> I, I've heard of backstrap. I know what it is. I've eaten it. I actually didn't know where it came from. I also didn't know where the tenderloin came from. I learned that the other day. That's, uh, yeah, no. So, and I fully expect for people who actually hunt and whatnot to basically come in and go, Hey, you're an idiot for these reasons. Understandable. I'll, I'll accept that. Oh, hey, look at that. Water buffalo. Oh! What are you? That is a... Th okay, I don't understand how that... That's not a three. I think the one running around was a three. 
So I didn't bring any, like, the 300 with me. I have the revolver, self-defense, and birds, the 30 aught, and then what I primarily wanted to hunt with today, the CB-70. So there's water buffalo down there. That's the other thing, too. I, I still... Oh, there we go. That is... That's a three? And you're a five running... Why are they running around like that? Are they spooking because of me all the way over here? What else would they be spooking for? Would they be spooking for Puma? I don't think I've ever seen water buffalo spook because of Puma. I mean, it, it's looking dead at me. Right? Yeah, that, that he's looking dead at... Or she is looking dead at me. Oh, hey, there's another one back there. Who doesn't seem to notice. So for whatever reason, these two seem to be just within range. Anyways, back to the topic of discussion. Long and the short of it, because I, I honestly don't have a whole lot of interest in discussing it that much. I just found I have a dead pixel on my monitor. I thought it was a, a small animal off in the distance. That's, uh, great. Dead pic, brand new monitor. Literally, this is the first time using this monitor. Anyways, so... I just wanted to bring that up, that the game is as difficult as you want it to be. If you think the game is too easy, make it more challenging for yourself. Use a bow. Turn off the hunting aids. Uh, you know, just make it more of a challenge. Please tell me that's dirt, not another dead pixel. Okay, that one was dirt. Anyway, so technical difficulties and arguments aside, we're going to make it to that other outpost, and then we're going to... Whoops. Walk off the tall structure uh we're gonna go to that other outpost and i would love to get a red deer today but honestly anything with the bow would be fun so hopefully i haven't taken up too much of this video by yakety yakking but just thought i'd weigh in i'm very excited for the new scoring system i'm very excited for to me what will be a, a more defined weapon integrity system because right now there are certain weapons that you would think would work but don't. So uh, 600 grain on a 70 pound, or I think it's a 65. Bear Bear was experiencing it when we went to Yukon. Uh, he did a, a 600 grain on a caribou and didn't hold integrity. So there's, it's just going to be nice to have that little bit more of a definitive uh, weapon class system. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to go for the first day. I know a lot of people are probably going to come back here to try and get their first uh, true horn uh, water buffalo, personally I will not. I am not that interested in the water buffalo. I would be more interested in actually getting anything that I've had a difficulty with because of quick kill. So, maybe a grizzly bear. Alright, well, we made it to the outpost without uh, anything interesting happening. I did find a couple tracks and what looked like a bedding area for some red deer, but they were old tracks from this morning when their drink zone would have been at the little local watering hole. And uh, that's somewhere yonder. So I think now it's time to head off to the next area, and I want to rest until morning and see what I can find over there. Alright, it's now 6 in the morning. I should have plenty of time to get down to the uh, pier. And I'm just going to post up at the pier for a minute and see what I can see from there. Do a little spot and stock hunting, hopefully. The hell? Is that a puma? I've never heard a puma make that noise. In real life, I would be going the other direction as fast as my fat legs would carry me. Let's cut through right here. It's 
the hell? It sounded like it was right down here in this brush. Alright. Uh-oh. No! Um... They're doing construction, and they're bringing in a new uh, main line into the neighborhood. So once every few days, I guess they nick a line or something. All right, well, I still want to see if that Puma is there, so I'm going to wait for everything to come back and then relaunch. Cross my fingers. All righty, everything's back up and running. I went ahead and reset the time so we can pretend that little crash never happened. And now it's time to get back down there. If I had to take a guess, that sound I heard before was a Puma feeding, which would mean I was really close to a Puma feeding zone which would be nice to have. So if I do hear that sound again, yeah, I'm going to uh, definitely try and get back into that spot and see if I can get eyes on. I probably needed to be a bit sneakier coming over the hill as I was getting closer. Like clockwork. There's two, three good size fours in that little herd right there. Four? They're all 98 pound peaks, so. Alright, we stayed and waited. Puma never came back, it was just the black bucks. I did just get a mule deer call to my left, but female mating call. I might go check it out, but I'm still more interested in seeing if any of the red deer are in the normal spot over here. Alrighty, it looks like I found him. Is that the one I was just following? Oh. Wait. Okay, that's just a shadow with some tree branches through it. Well, what do we have here? That is a puma. I would be very interested in getting a puma. So it looks like I have puma and axie deer to choose from. Access deer. Do I keep calling them Axie deer? I probably do. I pretty much have to hope and pray the wind stays to my advantage. And... That would be a nice bow kill there. But I'm gonna have to get so close. I just looked, and yeah, his zone's up three minutes ago. So hopefully we can get there before he meanders off. Alright, I'm not seeing the puma anymore, but I do still see the access deer over there. I'm going to go ahead and get to that uh, tree right here. And make some calls and see what comes in. A little nervous in this area. I don't know why. Maybe because I died here to a black buck once. That one. <coughs> Just like that, it's coming in. All right, well, I'm going to sit here and spam the collar a little bit. God, can he get across there? I hope he can. I hope there's no water in the way. Looks like they're both coming, so we're going to have to be careful with our shot. 
This sun eliminator is such a joke. Come on. If anything, they should call it scent reducer, because the only thing I think I've figured out what it does is it seems to lessen the impact to your scent. But it definitely does not eliminate it. Come on, a little bit closer. You come in a lot closer. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't want to take that shot. It's too far. Come back. Yeah. Don't know why you keep walking into my scent here. Let's, uh, let's get ready on the off chance he's going to walk right up here. I'm prone. I can't shoot from prone. Get the thing up. 34 yards. Okay. Why did I lose sight of him? Is that him? Right here? What? 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 Why are you fleeing? Ah. Alright, so. I managed to move up to where the wind is now in my favor. He's right here. He's giving me warning calls, but I keep just calling him right back into me. What I might... Oh, he's right here. There's two right in front of me. That's him. That's one. We're gonna chill. There goes the other one. I can't spot him. I thought I saw there was a third one back there. Yeah, that's the three. Let's go ahead and give him a call, see if we can't bring him back, too. There you are. If you're going to sit right there. That's not a good shot. Uh oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. Alright, we gotta try and see if we can bring it back into range a little. Should have never tried to take that shot. I, I keep forgetting how small they are. Well, you know what? On the plus side, he's down back there. So, I'm just going to put a waypoint and go. S Is that a black buck responding to the access call? Oh, yeah. Look at you. See, that was that was a shot I was hoping for. Right through. Double lung, a little bit of vertebrae action, and 862 gold. I am happy with that. Considering we haven't seen many animals, you're today's victor so far. Movement to my left. Oh, hey, look at that. There's some blood. Not a good shot. This was a horrible shot. Oh. That's convenient. Oh, oh! I'm so sorry. That had to hurt like hell. 
Yeah, that was a face shot. I might do it just cause. Ah. I forgot to sight first. I should have sighted first. Anyways, before this video becomes too terribly long and I actually run out of hard drive space because my two terabyte recording drive is down to 84 gigs left, so I probably need to uh, get finished up here. Let's head to the lodge and get the one animal we've managed to get so far done. I probably will bow hunt again next time just on a different reserve. Don't know where yet. Haven't really made up my mind. And of course, that will still be with the old scoring system, but... For you, the scoring system would have been updated. So, off to the lodge. Alright, well we swapped out the 806 we had for the 862 right next to our piebald. And, uh, that's about all we got for today. So, that's gonna be into that. Hopefully the new recording setup has worked. It already looks like I can see where I can do some tweaking to make it look a little bit better. And, uh... Next hunt will be the last hunt on the old scoring system, and then hopefully the next hunt after that will be the first one on the new scoring system. So, those buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't. So as always, buttons to push. Until next time.